Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, just click on it, it only takes a second and don't forget to like the video. But if you watched the last video, you'll remember this engine. This is the one that was buried in the scrap heap over here behind me. Um, at the end of the video, because it started and ran well, I said we'd have to do something with it. And what we've decided to do is uh, make a big generator out of it. So in the shed over there, we're just about to drag it out, is a big, I think it's about 40 kilowatt or 40,000 watt uh, alternator three phase. So we're going to marry it up to this engine in this video, start it up, see if it generates and then hopefully put it on the load bank, see what we can make it do. So uh, yeah, keep watching, it should be good. Well, the first thing we've got to do is um, put something on this, this frame the engines on to mount the alternator to. It's quite big, you'll see it in a minute, it's, and it's heavy as well. So we've worked out that when it sits down on here, it's going to be probably three inches short of the centre line, which is great news. It means we haven't got to cut this, we've just got to lift the whole thing up. But it's also a little bit narrower where it mounts. So the first thing we do is weld a plate in the back here, or in the front, I suppose it is, and then we're going to put a couple of pieces of angle up like this that turn inwards to mount the rear. So I'll fire up the, uh, the welding set and we'll get that done. Well, I can't be bothered to get the MIG out, so let's see if we can remember how to arm weld. Well, that's that all fastened on. It's uh, like I can tell by backing it with my hand, but that's fastened on. It's not going to go anywhere, so the next thing we're going to do is grab the alternator out of the, uh, the shed, probably string it up on the, uh, on the forklift actually, get it in place, bolt everything up, and uh, do these rear mounts for it. So uh, I'll put that on the first forward, I think. Well, that's all done. The brackets are in place, they're welded down. So now it's just a case of, um, we're gonna make a few little spaces up just to make sure it's absolutely right. We've purposely put the brackets in a little bit low just so we could be dead on with the alignment. That's pretty important. And um, we're gonna go out and find some Whitworth bolts for the coupling. But apart from that, it's, it's configured, it's, it's where it needs to be. So uh, the next thing to do is take all this back off again and draw some bolts. Well, good news, it's all bolted up now. Um, I've had a couple of days working on it off the camera, but what we've basically done, we've got everything bolted up, the generator's bolted to the back of the engine, everything's mounted there, the holes are drilled, it's all fastened down, and I have tested as it does generate. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fire it up, drop a load on it so you can see, we've had it running on this load bank at about 25 kilowatts, and the throttle's about a quarter of an inch open, it's really not trying. Uh, there's a four, that's a 40 kilowatt alternator, so 40,000 watts, don't see any reason why it's not going to do that, but we just can't load it to that just here at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I'll start it, and you'll see that I have to actually, when I bring the load on, I'll bring the camera into this panel just here, and you'll be able to see that I have to bring the engine speed up myself manually. That can't stay like that, being a generator, it's got to be automatically controlled, so in another video, we'll, uh, we'll actually put a full electric governor on it. It's really not difficult, and the kit's not that expensive, but this engine never had one. It's got an internal governor in the diesel pump, and it's just not up to the job. Of keeping the uh, keeping the ramps where they need to be. So, just at the end of this video, I'm going to uh, start it up for you now. You can see it generate. The next video, if you look down on the floor, I've got a, a gallon of diesel there. And now I'm convinced that, bear in mind that the off-road diesel that this engine can run on is half the price of uh, petrol or gasoline. Um, I think this is going to be cheaper to run than a. I've got an Onam CC, CCK. Um, I think that's three kilowatts, three and a half kilowatts. And I think, and I only think, we're going to do an experiment to find out that this will be cheaper even if it uses twice the amount of fuel and certainly obviously it'll have a lot more power. So uh, let's fire it up for this video and we'll, uh, we'll call that it. I think we're going to need to make some kind of ignition system as well.
just point out at the end of the video here, the reason that's doing so many cycles is this generator set is going to end up in the USA, so it needs to be doing 60 cycles at 110 volts. That's why it looks like it's over revving, but it's not. It's exactly as it needs to be. So that'll do for the end of this video. Click like if you like it, subscribe, comment, anything you like. Watch the next video because we're going to do a fuel consumption test.